Hello and welcome to another update video about Ether. Ethereum is coming down at the moment, um, joins Bitcoin in the sell off. Let's start actually with the ETH daily chart. Um, just want to take the opportunity for everybody who's missed the previous updates when we cover the daily chart to, you know, to see where we are. Daily chart, um, I think I covered it earlier today, actually. So it's just a quick update to highlight that we are likely in this directly bullish scenario on the chart. We have three so-called one, two setups on the chart. We could have already started the third wave, which might take us to round about $3,500 plus. However, um, depending on where the chart um, or how deep the chart pulls back now, you see it actually very clearly here on the daily chart. The last rally is only a three wave move up. So it is entirely possible unless the price turns around at very soon and forms another high that um, this is going to be an extended wave two and the chart formed an A, B, C structure, a flat structure in which we have an A wave down, an overshooting B wave, C wave down and the C wave might not go below the low F of the A wave which bottomed around 2130, I think. Depends on the exchange you're looking at. Um, but that's what's possible. At the moment, I assume the wave two bottomed, but we'll see how it goes um, on the smaller time frame. Yeah? It, in the worst, let's say in the worst case, but in the more bearish case, the wave two is just reset, but it could then just form a marginally lower low below the immediate short-term support area. Just on the daily chart to show you we are in a very bullish scenario here and really my main support level is still around 1680. Okay, so that's the main bullish support level on the daily chart. Now we can go to the um, ETH BTC chart because ETH started to outperform Bitcoin, which obviously isn't fully confirmed yet. So let's see what happens here. No change really. I think um, we might currently see the way four sideways okay wave four here third might have topped um oh one second uh oh no uh wave five of three might be in the making possibly wave five of three might be in the making but it's possible that this smaller degree fourth is unfolding as a triangle or something so no change there no change there eth btc however needs to stay above the point um oh five four five level to keep the upside pressure alive because a break below that level would mean we have a three wave top and it's likely going to form new lows. Okay, so it's essential that on the ETH BTC chart, it fills in this pattern, this five wave pattern to round about 0.065. Now let's go to the shorter time frame. Here you can see the idea that I had um, that I just discussed with you on the daily time frame. Now in the primary scenario, this wave two bottomed actually here. Um, interesting is that actually on the daily chart, which is the average across different exchanges, we have a much lower wick here. So it provided a much cleaner and clearer low, but that doesn't matter so much now. So the wave two could have indeed bottomed here at 2,130, um, but so far I can only see three waves up. I need five to suggest really and continue to suggest that the wave two is bottomed. Um, if the price breaks below micro support, which is at 2,361, then I have to say that this wave four is likely not unfolding. It's currently anyway at the um, getting tested, this assumption that this is a wave four, okay? Getting tested. Um, ideally, it doesn't even break below 2,423, but if it does, 2,361 is one more level as support for the wave four which could then lead to one more high in a wave five. However, break below that level means we're falling back into wave two and it never finished. But because of the high B wave, the C wave might not even go below the low of the A wave. Okay, so um, typical way of calculating a target for the wave C is to take the length of the A wave. We go to the high of the B wave and then there are a few levels that I get, 2390, 2318, and 2200 okay um it's actually in this scenario possible and actually quite likely that the c wave even if the micro support level breaks that the c wave 
doesn't even break um, below the A-wave low anymore. Okay, so it might just form a marginally lower low. I think you should know that. So not that you wait for the price to get back into the green support area. This is just generally the long-term, medium-term support for a wave two. But because of all this structure stuff that happened here, we might never get there, even in a reset of wave two. Yeah, that's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.